In this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at a more difficult geometric progression question in a more exam context. So, here's the question here. It says, the first term of a geometric progression is 10. It's good practice to stop reading at this point and write that in mathematical notation. A, the first term is 10, and the common ratio is 0 0.8. That's R is 0 0.8. Part 1 says, find the fourth term. So consulting the formula sheet, we see that the nth term is ar to the n minus 1. So in this case, n equals 4. So the fourth term, u4, is a times r to the power of n minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Equals, then popping it in the calculator, 10 times 0.8 cubed, which is 5.12, is the fourth term. Okay, part two. Find the sum of the first 20 terms, giving the answer correct to three significant figures. That's S20. And consulting the formula booklet, we see the sum of the first n terms is A, 1 minus R to the n, over 1 minus R. So subbing those numbers in, we get a 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of 20 over 1 minus r, which is 0 0.8. Putting that in the calculator, 10, 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of 20 over 1 minus 0 0.8, which is 49. 0.4 to three significant figures. Okay, part three. And this is much more in depth. It says the sum of the first n terms is den denoted by Sn, and the sum to infinity is denoted by S infinity. Well, consulting the formula sheet, we get the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. Show that the inequality s infinity minus sn is less than 0 0.01 can be rewritten as that. Okay, so first of all, let's get as many marks as we can. Good exam technique is to separate out these parts. So we should first of all work out what s infinity is. So the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r equals 10 over 1 minus 0.8 equals 50 and we've got a mark already for that and now SN so S capital N equals A 1 minus R to the power of N which in this case is capital N over 1 minus R equals 10 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n over 0 0.2. Now simplifying this, we can see that 10 divided by 0 0.2 equals 50. So it equals 50, 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n. Right, so let's write out the inequality as given in the question. So we've got s infinity which is 50, take Sn, take 50, 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n, and we're told that that is less than 0 0.01, got that there. Okay, so now, taking this over to the other side, I get minus 50, 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n, is less than and 0 0.01 take 50 is minus 49.99 okay so now I'm going to divide by minus 50 divide both sides by minus 50 to get 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n is less than so minus 49.99 divided by 
minus 50 equals 0.9998. But there's a mistake just being made here, and it's one of the more common mistakes that A-level students make, because I've divided by a negative number, so what I should have done is flip the inequality as well, so let's change that back. Let's flip the inequality, now it's correct. Okay, so now if I take 1 from that, so 0.9998, take 1, is minus 2 times 10 to the negative 4, so minus 0.8 to the power of n is greater than minus 0 0.0002, times in both sides by minus 1, I get 0 0.8 to the n, remember to flip the inequality again, is less than 0 0.0002, and that's just one of the many ways to get to the, the line that the question asks us to get to, which says 0 0.8 to the power of n is less than 0 0.0002. But then it, it has a, f a further instruction. It says, and use logarithms to find the smallest possible value of n. So we're going to have to log both sides now. So logging both sides, we get ln of 0 0.8 to the power of n is less than ln of 0 0.0002. And here, we can use the logarithm power law to take the n to the front. So n log of 0 0.8 is less than ln log of 0 0.0002 then dividing by 0 0.8 we get n and be careful here whenever we have the log of a number less than 1 notice that it's negative so flipping the inequality again ln of 0 0.0002 2 over ln of 0 0.8 and working that out on the calculator log of 0 0.0002 over log of 0 0.8 is 38.17 so n is greater than 38.17 just adjust the camera there there it is. Okay, so if n is greater than 38.17, then the smallest possible value of n has to be 39. The reason for that is that n must be an integer. It's a term number. So the first integer, bigger than 38.17, is 39. For more tutorials like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.